This is a number which is a very quiet number, which is an instrumental. And we have composed this specifically for this evening to bring across what, what we mean by having freedom through music. So it's a musical freedom. We're going to express ourselves differently. All the musicians on stage are going to express themselves. This is the freedom which, which I was just saying, it starts at the beginning. So when we are away from the boisterous mind, which is always wanting to let thought dictate what we do with our living. So it's so nice at times when you step away from thought. And when I say thought, I'm not saying this uh, with an ideological perspective. It's just the thought which keeps hitting us all that while. That, that's uh, how it is. We have so many thoughts which keep getting us. And that gap in between those thoughts, if we can just stretch them a bit. I spoke about this earlier in another concert. Those little gaps in between those thoughts, they are the ones we need to treasure. And th those are the ones we need to pursue in the quietness it deserves. So a quieter mind is a mind which can grasp those little distances in between those thoughts. And that is perhaps the beginning of the meditative mind, a mind which is not chasing thoughts or agenda or something accruing from or going towards an end. We're always wanting to get an end to everything, and we lose out this whole process. So I don't know if I was very clear in this in words, because words itself is a constraint, it's a limitation, and then I'm limited by thoughts. So words and thoughts both are a limitation. So before we start this number called Freedom, I'd like to dedicate it to someone who we are all familiar with differently. He's no more with us. He's P.C. Mukherjee. I don't know whether you know P.C. Mukherjee. He started a band called Shiva years back. He was a, one of the founder members of P.C. Came in later. Bobby would be knowing about that more clearly. So P.C. was a guitarist, extraordinary. He was a man who was very simple in attire. He didn't have those rock star images. And uh, he started from the 70s and 80s. He used to play around in Calcutta. And he spread this format of guitaring all across the country. So PC is a legend. He, he departed after a long battle of cancer in 2020 during the pandemic. And none of us could go across and, and bid farewell to him. But I thought this is a nice way of us trying to remember him for what he did over the years. And uh, if I can just have a look. So if you can, I don't know whether you can read this caref uh, carefully. At 67, he survived by his wife and two children. Nikita and Kyle. Kyle is helping us with the sound. Nikita also helps us a lot, but today she was tied down with her LED. So PC had this huge aura about himself where he brought about music through the simplicity of what he played in his lead. Very similar to what Tony does in measure, and that's the reason why we are trying to relate this. It's very unassuming. Tony doesn't have the flair of a flamboyant rock guitarist. But he lets those soft touches of his fingerings mean so much. And he expresses this without a thousand words like I'm doing. I don't, he doesn't need words to express, nor did PC. And uh, that's an end of an aura of extraordinary music which we had in the city. They used to compose, they used to play uh, cover numbers, but they used to be original and do things and create with music. And he was, of course, a person who was very dynamic in trying to get the band across the country, which I said before. So this number, which we'll do now, is called Freedom. It's a very quiet number. And uh, I hope you sink in it. <laughs> 